Pax Nation, and welcome back to some more Doki Doki Literature Club. The light is still pink. You know what that means. It's Doki Doki time. Anyway, scroll down, like button, subscribe, read the description, or at least peruse the description. Leave a comment while you're down there, then come on back up, and let's play some Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. All right, so the last time, well, last time, not so the last time, last time, we uh, read some interesting poems, you could say. Especially with Sayori. She has a lot of uh, things she's working out. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting when we go through her storyline. Or focus more on her, I should say. We'll see how you know things react, I guess. It's gonna be interesting, but Monica here just sprung on the rest of the group about the festival we gotta work on and take part in I guess and her way of preparing us for it is to have everyone stand up and read a poem out loud to everyone even though that's something they should have already done as a club so that's where we are now so this is her poem the title of this poem is the way they fly. Ahem. Monica begins reciting her poem. Well, I don't get to hear it. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each of her each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? What speaking in front of a Room? Pretty sure she's done that before in classes and stuff. I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face I don't understand. Finally, Mon- He forgot about the vampire. <laughs> we didn't look at the vampire, alright? Okay. Monica finishes. The re 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 citation. The four of us applaud. Woo! Monica takes a breath and smiles. That, that was so good, Monica. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? Uh, I'll go next. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri's anxiety anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri! It is called After Image of a Crimson Eye. That is an awesome title for anything. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago... She practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happened when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform to sharp symbols of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns as it's structured in its structure so that she in Insinuates. Insinuates. Got it. With perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire. Yuri keeps concealing inside her head. Suddenly she finishes. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her. As if she be withered even herself. Uh, I. It's up to me to save the situation. On the first start applauding. Everyone joins in after me and gives Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we don't want to applaud for her, but we're caught so off guard that we almost forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back to her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Yuri looks down from for the what? Looks like Yuri is down for the count. <laughs> okay. 
I guess I'm next and don't interrupt her, don't interrupt her. Let's say we go. Don't don't push her down. Okay, good. Alright. Sayori hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one is called My Meadow. Uh, uh, ha, 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 ha. Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sorry. It's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Um, try not to think like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay, then. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow, it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. Dude, there's a lot more to Sayori. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this poem on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. You know? I've heard that before. It's like you read something, you're like, eh. But then you hear someone else's voice that you really like. And you read it, you're like, wow, that was really good. Voices make a difference. Maybe this is what Sari meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone than I thought. I knew through and through. Sari finishes, and we applaud. I did it. <laughs> good job, Sayori. Hee <laughs> hee, even Apex liked it. I guess that's a good sign. Listen, I'm your childhood friend. I'm going to like whatever you do. Obviously, we're friends. We've been friends since childhood. I'm going to support you. What does that even mean? It came out nicely. You weren't going to glance over that? The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems would work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Uh, I don't really understand. You're good at reading out loud. In other words, I've seen poem viewers with a lot sort of gentle delivery. Wouldn't work so well. That might need a little bit more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that sort of thing. That's interesting. You've been practicing speaking. It's just... You're a bad influence, Monica. She's now learned to stick her butt out. Bad Monica. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. <laughs> then next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. You know, you're actually starting to become a better president. You're challenging your club mates to go beyond plus ultra. We don't have much time before the festival, you know? Okay. Uh, now, who's who's next? Oh, wait. We haven't gone. I was going to say, there's only one other person. All right, vampire. Do you want to close the show? Or do you want to be the semi-main event or whatever? Natsuki? How? Don't make me go before Apex. All right, fine. You close the show. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Dude, puppies farting rainbows. People like that. Might as well let Apex lower everyone's standard before I have to do... Oh, come on! That's so key. It's fine, it's fine. Stupid vampire. I might as well get it over with. <laughs> but it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I've written two poems. I choose the second one. I'll just... Yeah! I just have to go with what I wrote today. I stand up in front of a room, and what? I stand up and step in front of the podium. Step, sit, you stand behind the podium, not in front of the podium. You stand behind. Po Do you not know how podiums work? Oh. Okay, everyone's eyes is on me, making me feel terribly awkward. Uh huh. I recite my poem: one fish, two fish. Red fish, blue fish. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. It's because they all like you, and Monica is Monica. Yeah, I haven't figured out Monica yet. 
Sorry, I'm not really good as everyone else. Don't worry so much about it. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. She got a point. That's something that you'll prove over time, though. Yeah, maybe. All right, then. That just leaves you, vampire. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. As Suki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because you're the center of attention right now. Because you're presenting. How? Anyway, the poem is called Jump. Please have something to do with swimming. Nasuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her soul, sour, sour, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhyme, has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Nasuki's trademark style. Puppies fart in rainbows. And it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down as if given life to the poem. Nasuki finishes and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Oh, uh, well, we're doing it again tomorrow. <laughs> do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people would be way easier. Well, okay, I see your point. If you do it in front of a bunch of strangers, who cares what they think? They're a bunch of strangers. They mean nothing to you. If you do it in front of your friends, or I assume you all think of each other as friends, then, you know, you care what your friends think about you. So I get what she's saying. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. So you can fake it. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. Well, that's a surprise, Asuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Hmm. Okay. So you're willing to let your friends... Also, everyone else is real neat with their collar. You are just a mess. <laughs> so you are carefree around your friends, and you can be yourself. But when strangers are around, you think you got to put on a good first impression. So you gotta be what people expect you to be. Which is part of your poem! I'm understanding you more. I got my camera flipped, so whenever I'm looking this way, just imagine I'm looking that way. I think I should flip that around. But then I'm gonna confuse myself. Anyway. Well, that's just how it is. So... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming, though. Okay. <laughs> it might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? Ah, we make your pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own? Oh, come on. It should be our own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. And there's her butt sticking out again. Also, she flaps open her front too when she sticks her butt out. That's just look at me pose. It makes me feel real happy. Ah, uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival's coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out real nicely so far, so i like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish playing it tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Okay, so today's Thursday. Monday's the big day. Oh, boy. <laughs> Wait, weekend? Are we gonna... Are we gonna not be in the classroom? I can't wait. I mean, Monday we'll be back here, but... Are we gonna actually be like out and about? Are you okay? All right, cool. I'm excited. I can do this. 
I can do this. Hey, you gotta be calm. You gotta tell yourself these things sometimes. I understand. All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. Uh, it it's for the sake of the club and impressive Monica. Why do you want to impress Monica? Then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go? Uh, Sayori. Uh, never mind. I thought that was Sayori speaking. <laughs> I got real confused. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Look at you two. Always going home together like that. We live on the same street, vampire. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? Stop. Give, choose a different pose. <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. I'll, I'll walk you home. I, I'm willing to take the extra. You know, we can walk together. And then Sayori can buzz off on her own. And I'll just walk back on my own. Yeah, it's fine. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? We live on the same street. It's okay, Apex. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. Wait, what? Why don't I have to say it? You look worried. Those are worried eyes. You look like you don't want... But... You look like you... Before we joined the club, you would walk home on your own. So it can't be that you're afraid to walk home on your own. Hmm. feel like there's something else there. I'll walk home with Sari once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sari has been a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sari. Uh-huh. Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, no wonder. Um, I was... Thinking about something from earlier, like how we got, we get to, I mean, I, I mean, sorry, fumbles with the words. So let's just say that one day, Yuri has to walk home with you. I'm saying yes. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> well, sorry, Yuri. <laughs> I mean, I mean, sorry, say, I'm choosing Yuri. <laughs> this is why Monica was saying, hey, save the game. But I don't I don't want to do that yet. No, I don't. I don't wanna I don't wanna do the saving thing yet. I wanna do a blind playthrough and then go back and see things differently. Puts a little bit more work on me, but it's fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna save. I'm choose I'm choosing not to save. Okay, I would walk home with Yuri. Walking home with Yuri, huh? Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? Well, dude, you know why. I mean, given how hard it's her for a socialize, I'd feel awful turning her down, so... Isn't she beautiful and smart? Yes. That has everything to do with it, what I just said. I know this is nothing, but I'm ignoring that. Ha ha ha, you admitted it! Jeez. There's not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? Don't think like that. We're friends. We're never going to stop being friends, or are we? What's happening? Need you? Sorry. I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Um, if you say so. She is. Oh, she is not in a good place in her head. Do, 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 do. The conversation trails off, and I'm left feeling awkward. That's a garage, so that it has to be flat. But... The way the grass is there, it makes it look like this is not flat. I don't know. Uh, it was kind of her fault for trapping me in such a weird question. I can't just lie to her. But if there's something like that, if something like that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. 
Who knows what will happen in that time? Okay. Ominous much? I mean, you're just... Oh, crap. I need to get my poem thing ready. I forgot we're going to be writing another poem. Even though they just said... Give me a second. All right. We are good to go. Inferno definitely was on here, right? Uh, despise the imminent music bubble podcast. And then, uh, I'm pretty sure Inferno was on here. Oh, crap. I have my keyboard switched. All right. Pretty sure Inferno, Infinite, uh, ju Judgment, and ju 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 Inferno, yes. Inferno. Oh, Crimson for sure. Oh, she kind of went off to the side. I didn't even notice that. Oh, never mind. She's bouncing back and forth. Unrestrained, much for the forgiveness of the Ooh. Unrestrained, maybe? Do, do, do. Unstable, sunny nature, despise. Desire? Maybe desire as well? I don't know this one. Do, 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 do. Despise, desire, no. Despise, no. Okay. I keep listening to the word despise. I'm like, wait, nope, that's not it. What else am I looking for? Oh, unrestrained. Uh-oh. I missed it. Desire. Right there. Last one. Oh, second to last one. Desire. Boom! Friends, empty, disaster. Appreciate disaster. Or judgment. Ooh, I think there's two there. Disaster and judgment, right? Ooh, do, do, do. Ba, ba. Judgment. I see judgment. Clicking judgment. Ah, Captain Love, Clumsy Blah, Blah, su Suicide, Memory, Disarray, Hope, Defeat. I think suicide? I'm not entirely sure about that because what they consider suicide more of a feeling. I'm not sure. Not suicide, so top, second one, top, or suicide. If it didn't have sick, mis misfortune. I gotta look again. Who likes the word swimsuit? It's gotta be Sayori. Uh, Miss Fortune. Not entirely convinced on that. What else do I have? E. I definitely didn't see it. So what else can we look for? Do 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 ba ba Oh these are kind of wait disown? Disown. I see disown. Disown disown. Bam. Happiness, uh, spinning, existence, prayer, floofy, boop, lazy, broken, ooh. Existence? Maybe? Am I at the bottom or the top? Which one am I on? Oh, that's the bottom, okay. Broken, maybe, existence, I'm going to say it's broken or existence. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't like it when I miss one. Uh, it makes me have to think. Mm -hmm. Wait, Destiny? Destiny, I see it. Yeah, Destiny, Destiny, bam. 
All right. Uh, crap. None of these are popping out at me again. Maybe these scars or uh, after image. Nah, I don't really know if after image will be on here. Milk jump worn wrath, maybe? Meager? Wrath, I see wrath. Together extreme vertigo. I think vertigo's on there. Or infinite. I think both of those are on here. Vertigo and infinite. Vertigo. Most inflatable grief. Graveyard. I'm pretty sure graveyard's on there. Maybe grief, but grief kind of sounds like an emotion, so it would be Sayori. Probably graveyard. Do, 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 do. Um. Do do wait. Available. That one. Bam. Into play. Etern eternity. Probably eternity. Pain. Uncanny. Hurt. Probably eternity though. Uh, I'm not seeing. Wait, intellectual. Intellectual. That one. Bam. Dream lost. Unrequited. Holy crap, so more to go. Here, chuglete. A lot of tone. Little. Unrequited? Lust. Probably death. Out of those. But again, none of those jump out at me. Giggle. This one interests me. 915. I mean, that's there, and it's zero points for Sayori, but it's in Sayori's thing. So 915 is three points for her vampire. Natsumi? Not some whatever her name is. Anyway, that that's uh for us to figure out later. Ah, I do see graveyard. Okay, so I know graveyard's there now. A tone. I also see a tone. We had a tone before. Eternity. Yep. Time. Despise. Um. Heartbeat? Maybe heartbeats in here? So it's gonna be death, heart. I don't think death. I didn't see death. I'll look again. It's gonna be either death, heartbeat, electricity. Electricity. Blanky feather alone. Wait, I think I saw alone, right? Can I see alone right here? No, it's home. Uh, oh, pleasure. No, it was climax, sensation, lust. Yeah, pleasure. Okay, yeah. As I thought those were all grouped together. Misery, shiny, ribbon, universe, fireflies, clim climax. I'll check, but I'm pretty sure climax is yeah, right there. Those, all that. That whole lust section is hers. Question, breathe, melody, silly, amazing, analyst, flee, disoriented, treasure, peace. It has to be disoriented. But I'll look. Because I don't want to mess this up, but I'm pretty sure it's disoriented. What else would be there for her? Maybe analyze. Ba -da -da -doo -doo -doo. Do 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 do
Vivid and vibrant. I'm surprised those are hers. Flee. Flee's there. Bam. Uh, contamination, explode, vacation, pure, calm, wonderful, fuck. Those contamination? I wish these are alphabetical. It'll make things so much easier. Explode? Huh. I mean, maybe ocean. Ocean's a scary place. Do, 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 do. Explode. Right there. Explode. Fester, landscape, a tro a trophy. Vivid. Vivid. Didn't we see vivid? Didn't I say, like, I'm surprised that's hers? Yeah. Vivid. Bam. Raindrops. Hot. Comfort. Twirl. Ducky, ducky. Essence. on it. Okay. Doki Doki is always on 19, isn't it? There has to be something there. I don't think anybody has Doki Doki as their thing, so there must be a secret to using Doki Doki in every poem. We'll look. Like that, that well not right now, but that's that's like later stuff. Essence maybe? Starscape on the engine plot. <laughs> Or on essence, I see essence. Or honestly, like, if they just had the list of words and then these numbers next to them, because it's, you know, first number, second number, third number. That'd be super easy to do it that way. And again, alphabetical. I mean, I could take the time and put everything alphabetical and do it like that, but nah, we're doing this way. Essence is right there. The three, bam. Massacre, I think. Embrace also might be there because she has that whole lusty section. Ah, but I see Massacre, bam. Woo! Second poem all about Yeti. We're at the part play through again to see like if you get all well so far there's three poems we the first one we didn't make it all about her so we might have to go through again and see if there's you know different scenes because i think the reason why we're getting all these scenes is because we're focusing on her but did we get it perfect i don't know but we will see all right monica should i save you for the next episode i think i will hello uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll save you for the next episode, Monica. Right now, we're gonna take a look. We're gonna go see. Do we have any new pictures and stuff? We do. We didn't take a look at this last episode. All right, so we have her new poem. This, uh, the bottles one. That was intense. Save me, load me. Oh, that makes more sense now. Because this is like, you know, she's like the tutorial, right? That's what you really gotta look at her like. She's the and she's the in-game help menu. So she's telling you about saving and loading, and then she gave you the advice about saving and loading. That's why save me, load me. I get it now. I don't get any other screenshots. Oh, I got that one. Oh. Uh oh. In act one. Oh, act one. Ho! Oh. Okay. <laughs> I got worried for a second. I read this first. Write all three poems for Yuri. So he did. We we actually got all three poems for Yuri. I'm probably just going to grab that. He says a uh, thumbnail. So we did get all three. In Act 1, write all three poems for Yuri. All right. Cool. Four girls. One, two, three, four. And then this was like other concept stuff. Because that's all four girls right there. So we get two more things we can get for Yuri, and then I guess these are the rest of them. I wonder if Act 2 we can actually make stuff for Monica, because we can't yet. And I want to get more of this promo stuff, because this is really cool. Select the word horror during the poem game. Like, this is so cool looking. Alright, we're getting there. We gotta get all these. This actually, this game is really good, man. Really good. All right. Well, 
I'm going to record more because I want to keep playing and I don't want to stop because I'm addicted to this game. <laughs> I really am. But that is going to do it for this video. Next, we... Uh, we, uh, we, we wrote a poem. Yeah, we got to share a poem. I wonder if we're going to share it out loud this time or are we going to go back around everyone again and then do it out loud? Are we rinsing and repeating? Are we going to change up the formula? Don't know. You'll have to come back for the next episode. See you then. Take it away. Outro me. Thank you so much for checking out that video. And if you liked it, make sure you give the video a like and also comment down below. And while you're here, you might as well subscribe. You're here. And also, go check out another one of my gaming videos over on this side. And also, you can just click up there, hit the subscribe, or head over to my hobbies channel, where you can watch me build the UNSC Warthog from the Halo series, little metal model, tiny little guy. Also, you can subscribe by clicking up there. And until next time, I'm Apex Reaper. Y'all stay positive. Thanks for watching.